Now that welcomes this video where it's all about the chromatic scale. I'm going to give you a lot of ideas on using the chromatic scale for um, a little bit of finger independence, precision, and some other sort of chord stuff. So just get straight into it. First thing, be able to play the chromatic scale one octave, but aim for speed, precision. So you're just going to get used to doing it with one hand and just see how quickly you can actually do it and maintaining it for, you know, I don't know, maybe 30 seconds or something, or even a minute. And then of course doing it in the left hand and then bringing them together and just going up and down as quickly as you can. That's the first one. Second one, I have a little technical exercise, a little bit more of an interesting pattern using the chromatic scale. And it is, start anywhere of course, I'm just starting on C, is that you go over the black note block three times. So you go up, down, up, and then, so you go over it the first time, back down to the first note before the first black note, and then back over it, over the next one, and down to the first note. So in other words, sort of up and down to C, up and down to F, up and down to C, up and down to F, like that. So just try and get used to uh, that. And then back down again. Where would be B and E. That kind of thing. Um, now the second idea is to do that with octaves. I'm going to get onto intervals as well, just chucking them all at you. Uh, you can do the same kind of thing with octaves uh, individually, of course. Just get used to just playing uh, a nice staccato octave in both hands. It's quite nice. Loosen that wrist. It's quite nice. And then, of course, together with an octave apart. And then there's a nice one to do where you I have a whole video on octave ideas. And there's another one where you play the chromatic scale but you, your right hand leads on the way up and then your left hand leads on the way down. And you can do that for maybe two or three octaves. Um, and it goes something like this. I need to be careful of the pole for my camera, but it basically goes C with the right hand and then the left. C sharp with the right, then the left. And you just kind of want to get used to uh, that kind of feeling and then down again. But there's no tension in my wrists when I'm doing that. It, it's just like, kind of just like, so just bouncing like this. It's hard to explain, but it's, it's just kind of just like that. Um, just like that. So that's the uh, that's a nice one to do. And then you can also use a chromatic scale to play chords. And there's lots of different ways to play chords. Choose your chords. It could just be major triads. I'll start with that first. So you might just play, uh, maybe do it as an octave in the right hand, just three notes in the left, or just octaves, do what you want. And the first thing is simply play the triads up the chromatic scale very blandly. So just go. Okay to see if you can sort of familiar, what's the word, familiarize yourself with them and instantly recognize them as you go up. And then maybe with the minors. Because each one I see, I kind of see it just before I play. See, I'm thinking ahead. And that's nice to do with your eyes closed as well. And then of course you can, you can play them in different ways. You might bounce on the lowest note first. It's quite a nice one to do. Your natural fingering will work itself out. And then you can do that with the minors, you get the idea. Okay, fine. And then you can do it with, of course, four note chords, but I'll demonstrate another way of doing it. Uh, you can do it rolling the chord up, like, and this sounds quite nice, actually. That's quite a nice exercise to be able to do anyway on one chord in one place. You can come back down as well if you want. But this is quite a fun, what fun one to do on the way up, see how quickly you can do it. with one particular chord type like that. That was major sevens. You might do hold diminished, but this time I'll do it as a bouncing one. So you have to get your hands in the right position for that. That's quite a fun one to do. Um, and there was another thing I wanted to show you with the chromatic scale, which was playing them with uh, intervals, which is quite a nice one to do. Again, doing it staccato as well. And you can do them an octave apart or next to each other. So I'll just start with, with thirds. It's, it's a very, very simple thing, but it's nice to be able to do these things. So of course, you just play the chromatic scale with the thirds, do it with fifths. You know, with all the intervals, you get the idea. And you can, again, you can do that with octaves as well. Let's maybe do it with fourths. You just kind of do that. That's quite a nice one to do as well. But you know, personalize it, really get into it. Spend, you know, 10 minutes on one with your eyes closed. See how fast you can do it. Get that precision down. I'm just throwing them out at you right now. So I think I've covered quite a lot of them, really. You've got that nice technical exercise where you go over, up and down and over. Really get the power on that one. Um, the chords, major, minor, any chord types that you want. You can, like I say, roll them. And of course, you can play them as block. You can bounce them, like I did with the diminished. Lots of different things to do. And of course, you don't have to do it in one octave. You can do it in two octaves. 
um, you can maybe use the pedal and uh, get, get the, my, my kind of my kind of style where I have these rapid arpeggios like this. Well, I mean, normally I go up and down like that, but do what you want. But the idea is that you're doing it you know, chromatically. This is the point. So you really need to have that kind of that kind of precision, you see. And that's what I'd like you to get. And you will get it by doing these technical exercises, of course. Um, not a lot more to say about that. Just use that chromatic scale. Oh, the one more thing I wanted to do, which was a kind of improvising thing, just to throw a bit of jazz in there as well, um, is to play random melodies. You can do it with two hands if you want. I kind of have another video on sort of a stream of parallel motion or something like that. I think that's actually the previous video, number four, I believe. But link below, you can see it in the playlist of these short videos. And But just doing this one with the right hand and only playing. See, the other one wasn't just doing it chromatically. That was just like playing any notes anyway, you know, just with like this, just anywhere. Blah, blah, blah. But this one is specifically just the right hand, nothing complicated with the left, and just playing only chromatic phrases anywhere, but like in chromatic blocks. So you might just kind of go, you might feel a rhythm or not. Maybe I'll feel a kind of swing. Nothing about keys or chords, just... little chromatic things which kind of is quite interesting that kind of thing nothing nothing theoretical just a nice little way to move around of course you can do it in the left hand if you want just little chromatic ideas like that and of course both hands if you want to but um, I think that's quite a lot for you to play with for a very long time using the chromatic scale. As always, likes, comments, subscriptions, welcome. Have a look at my video management website, Waterbeanism Syllabus, and perhaps Patreon, and I'll see you in the next video. Good luck, all the best, bye for now.